Hi guys, today we will create a Azure CI/CD pipeline for deploying AWS Lambda function. So right now I am in the AWS Lambda function. We will click on create function and we have to give a function name. So I am giving Azure deploy Lambda and in the runtime you can select any runtime as per your requirement. So I am selecting Python 3.10 in my case and click on create function. So our lambda function has been created. In the code section, we can see the sample code that is hello from lambda. We can test it. In the event name, I am writing test and click on save. And now if we click on test, we can see the output that is hello from Lambda. So our Lambda function is working fine. The next thing we have to do is we have to download the deployment package. For this, we have to go to actions and click on export function. Then there is an option download deployment package. We have to click on that. Now our deployment package has been downloaded. Now we will go to IAM service. We need this user in order to create a connection with the Azure. So we are on IAM dashboard right now and in the left panel we have to click on users. Then we have to click on add users button. And we have to give a username. I am giving Azure deployment and then we have to click on next. Here we have to select attach policies directly and search for lambda and check the lambda full access option and click on next and create user. Our user has been created and now we have to click on the user which is created Azure deployment. And then we have to go to security credentials. We will be creating access keys in order to make connection with Azure. So we will click on create access key. Here we can see multiple options. We have to select third party service and check the I understand and click on next and click on create access key. And now our access keys has been created. We have to note down this access key and secret access key. We will need these in order to make a connection with Azure. So we will copy these and click on done. Now we have to Google for AWS toolkit for Azure DevOps. This page will appear when you click on the link. You have to click on get started and then click on get it free. I have already installed this toolkit so that's why we see this extension is already installed on this organization. You can install it. Now we have to go to project settings on Azure DevOps. Then in the left panel you will see an option called service connections. We will be creating a service connection with AWS. So we have to click on new service connection and you will see an option there AWS and click on next. Here we have to add the access key and secret access key that we created on AWS IAM user. And we have to give a service connection name. I am giving connection for AWS. And we have to check the grant access permission to all pipelines and click on save. Our service connection has been created. You can see connection for AWS. 
now the next thing we have to do is we have to create a repo in which we will be adding the code for lambda function so we have to click on create and we have to give a repo name uh, i am giving lambda code repo and click on create our lambda repo has been created you can see lambda code repo if i click on that and click on browse you can see it is created the next thing we have to do is we have to clone this repo we will click on clone and then copy now we will click on generate git credentials we have to note username and password we will need this username and password for doing git operations now we will do git clone and we have to enter the password our repo has been cloned now we will go to the directory we will do cd lambda code repo and here we can see we are in the directory now and we can do the get branch and see the main branch is here which is the default branch now we have to add the lambda deployment package code which we downloaded from the lambda function in this repo so we have to first extract the lambda deployment package which we downloaded and we have to rename it so right now the repo is empty so i am renaming the folder and if we check the git status we can see the modified code is here and we have to add it and we can check the status and we have to add a commit message we can add a commit message like lambda code and then we have to push it get push origin main and we have to enter the password our code has been pushed now if we go to the repo and click on a refresh we can see our code is added in this repo the next thing we have to do is we have to go to pipelines we will be creating a new pipelines so we will click on new pipeline and it is appearing we have to click on the use the classic editor option on the bottom in the select a source page we have to select the repo which we created and click on continue and in the template we have to select empty job on the top and here uh, we are in the pipeline now and we have to click on adjunct job one and there is a plus symbol we have to click on that the first job we will be adding is archive files we have to click on add and in the option root folder or file to archive we have to select the lambda file in the repo and we have to copy it and paste it in the archive file to create but with a dot zip at the end now we will click on plus symbol again to add the next job which is for aws lambda we have to search for lambda and select the aws lambda deploy function and click on add and now in the aws credentials we have to select the service connection which we created that is connection for aws in the aws region we have to select the same region in which our lambda function has been created so let's see if we check the region it is appearing it is eu central one so we have to enter eu central one if we type eu it is auto populated and in the function name we have to paste the arn of the function we will copy it and paste it here and in the zip file path we have to paste the same path which we added in the previous job so we can copy from there and paste it here all right our both jobs has been created now we have to go to triggers and select the enable continuous integration option
we can give a name to our pipeline so let's give a name uh, we can give for example pipeline for lambda and now we will click on save and click on save all right our pipeline has been created if we click on all we can see pipeline for lambda so our pipeline is ready now whenever we push code to our repo our pipeline will run and it will automatically deploy the code in our lambda function now let's add some code in our code repo and see our pipeline working so let's open our repo in visual studio code so i am adding some code here it is deployed from azure pipeline now we need to add this and push it and we can see the status we have a modified file let me add it and now let me add a commit message get commit lambda modified code now we have to push it git push origin main we have to enter the password here our code has been pushed now if we go to our pipeline and click on refresh we can see uh, the state of pipeline is queued and if we hover over again it is running now our pipeline is running now we can see a tick mark and if we hover over it we can see a tooltip as success and now if we go to lambda and refresh our page we can see the latest lambda code has been deployed by azure pipeline and if we click on test we can see the output as well so our pipeline is working fine and if we go to pipeline we can see how much time it took and if we click on pipeline we can see some more details now the next thing we have to do is we have to go to the project settings on the bottom left and here we can see parallel jobs under the pipelines section we have to click on that and here you can see one parallel job in my case in microsoft hosted these days microsoft does not provide parallel job by default for new accounts so earlier it was not appearing for me as well so i filled a form for that you have to go to google and search for azure parallel pipeline and if you click on the link the page will appear and here you can see there is a option submit a request you have to click on that and a form will appear you have to enter your name your email address your organization and your project is public or private in my case it was private and click on submit it will take around two to three days and microsoft will enable parallel jobs for you you will get a notification by an email as well and the pipeline will work fine thank you